Good Monday morning, I'm meteorologist Ted Schmidt, and uh, well, it's not looking like the cheeriest of days, but it's hard to complain about this weather. Uh, still a pretty quiet day overall, very tranquil weather. We've had some fog. It's not particularly dense fog. It's just a lot of low cloud cover, slight reduction of visibility, and what we're facing for the rest of the day actually is, is not half bad, really. Gray skies will be kind of the rule, but temperatures in the 30s this time of the year, I would say that's pretty decent. That's actually slightly above the seasonal average. This morning, off to a, a really good start to the week. 29 degrees, the uh, wind's very light out of the east, so the wind chill impact is pretty minimal uh, right now. Uh, again, we, we start with gloom. We'll stick with that cloud cover throughout the rest of our Monday. Beyond this, uh, next few days, in fact, the middle part of the week, uh, you have sunshine will be the rule, and it looks like some really mild temperatures headed our way. We had such a long stretch of warm weather last week. Is that how long can this go? It is December. It should start at some point feeling like December. Well, that will come, but that's going to be over the weekend, and we start seeing some big changes by then. But until then, uh, we at least enjoy a tranquil Monday, and that makes the, the work week that much easier to start when you don't have to shovel your way out of your driveway at in the dark at 5 in the morning or whatever it is. For me, it would be 1.30 in the morning, <laughs> shoveling my way out of the dark, uh, or 2 o'clock, depending on how deep the snow is. I've done it before. At one time... It took me more than an hour, so I did. I had to get up at 1 and shovel for an hour, then take a shower, drive to work, and spend 12 hours at the station. Really, really, really hard way to start the week. Uh, now, this time around, I'll take this anytime. Uh, we're, we're okay with this. Gray skies right now, light winds, a little fog, temperatures, uh, day planner, topping at around 35. Uh, sunset coming up at 432 this afternoon. 29 right now. It feels like 24. Air pressure steady, 30.10 inches of mercury. Uh, across the board here at uh, just a few minutes before 9 o'clock this morning, uh, 28 in Preston, 29 Rochester, Mesa City, 30, and it's 30 in Decorah, Iowa. There's a warm front to the west of us. It's going to take all day to get here. It's, it'll really move through tomorrow, actually. And then there's another wave of low pressure northwest of that, and there's some another surge of warmth that's going to come in uh, with that s storm system. And that's going to be the middle part of the week where we get a nice little bump in temperatures, uh, as we'll see in our forecast here. But the clouds will be the rule today, as I said on the morning show uh, this morning on, on, our, on KTTC today at, uh, I think it was about half past six, and I mentioned the clouds are hanging tough, and I do that one all the time. Hanging tough, this time I actually made reference to new kids on the block. It just seemed to, to, to come out. <laughs> it's one of those Monday things. Well, you know what? Hanging tough. No, 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 no. No, anyway, kind of sad, but <laughs> it's one of those things. It's Monday. Uh, you might as well have a laugh, you know. All right, clouds will hold on through tonight. Tomorrow, a little bit of cloud cover at first. We start seeing sun, some breaks and then some sun at times. Uh, that second, uh, first wave of low pressure that it is moves on to the east, increasing sunshine tomorrow. Southwest wind up to 15 miles per hour. On Wednesday, that secondary wave of low pressure comes in. Watch the winds turning more to the south as more of that warmth comes in. And that, with extra sunshine, on Wednesday stands as the warmest day of the week. But today, 35 in Rochester, Austin, uh, 40. Clouds, a little fog still this morning. The south winds run 3 to 8 miles per hour tonight. 27, not a big change in temperatures. A little a bit of fog possible late. Otherwise, mostly cloudy and light southwest wind. Tomorrow, a little more of a southwest breeze, a little more sunshine, especially in the afternoon. 41. For Tuesday, here's the outlook for Wednesday through Friday. A little sunshine, increasing clouds Thursday. And by Friday, there's the big change. We'll be in the 30s. Still iffy. If that system comes in and it's south of us, there's a lot of more of that cold air available. That would be mainly a snow event. And the possibility of, you know, we could see two to four inches of snow out of that situation, uh, maybe more. But right now, the system kind of coming right at us. It would be a mixture of rain and snow. It could be a minor slushy coating, an inch or two or a little more, and some pretty brisk winds. 38, that would be if the system goes through a current trajectory, but watching the data right now come in, uh, still a possibility we could be as cold as maybe 31, 32 for high, or you know close to 40. So some a lot of, a lot of question marks to that Friday system, to say the least. So rain and or snow. And then on the back side of the system, as you'll see in the seven day, uh, first we'll look at this, this the future track upper level wind chart. Cold air comes in for Saturday and Sunday, and it's gonna stick around into next week as well. And you see the numbers at surface level, our surface highs will be uh, colder accordingly uh, showing up like that. Temperatures, uh, rain and snow on Friday. A couple snow showers Saturday. 
Uh, probably not too much sunshine there. It does look like we'll have at least some raw winds, too, Saturday and Sunday. Next week, some light snow possible Monday. And further afield, looking down the road, and next Wednesday, there are signs that maybe then, that's a week from the day after tomorrow, we're talking way out there. Maybe uh, another storm system that could bring some snow as well. So about three individual storm systems bringing snow potential. A lot of people are asking, where is the snow? And now we're in the, the new week. We're looking ahead at the weekend and days beyond. We can start to see them lining up. And there will be the possibility of snow accumulation Friday into Saturday on Monday of next week and then next Wednesday. And then maybe beyond that, I think things may settle down for a while, but uh, some colder stuff certainly headed our way, 20s and 30s, the highs this weekend and, and the days beyond. And that, again, is more typical of December than the 40s we're gonna have most of this week and then we had most of last week. In the meantime, uh, have a great day. Uh, enjoy the above freezing temperatures today and uh, we'll see you back here on Tuesday.